Hey, this is Ben from PhotoshopActionScripts.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use one of our Photoshop Actions to make a really cool looking um, thick hardcover ebook that um, looks really realistic and uh, it's just really nice. So let me go ahead and get started. Assuming that you've already downloaded the action scripts from PhotoshopActionScripts.com you will want to go into Photoshop and uh, open up your Actions palette by going to Window then Actions and then you'll click on this little arrow down here and they should all be loaded up assuming that you've installed them correctly and then I'm going to choose the book laying hardcover thick action script and then make sure that it's highlighted click on step one and then press the little play button right here now that's going to pull up the template that you're going to want to paste your uh, book cover on top of so I'm going to go ahead and hit stop let me separate these real quick okay and as you can see I've only got the front of the book and then I've got the spine of the book the back I don't need so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and select oops actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select just the front first just in case the dimensions aren't exactly the same so I'm gonna right click go to layer via copy take that layer drag it over here into this one hit the select tool and I'm going to drag it up here to the corner and I'm going to hit control T and that just transforms you can also go to edit and then down to transform and then you don't have to hold down shift or make it exact you can actually just click on the corner and just drag it down to the very bottom okay I'm going to hit the select button right here again to trans to apply the transformation click apply Okay, no need to go back over here and grab the spine. So make sure you're on the background layer and you're not just on the layer that you made. So background layer, I'm going to select right here. Okay, I'm going to grab the spine. Right click, layer via copy. Move this out of the way. Now I'm going to drag this one over to here. And the same thing, I'm going to hit Control and T. Line it up to the corner. Go ahead and shrink this a little bit more. Then I'm going to drag this down to here. Oops. Right there. Then I'm going to apply it. Now, as you can see, these are really huge. This is only at 12% right now. That's because all of our action scripts are 300 DPI resolution. And for instance, if I were to go to 100, let me go ahead and show you real quick. This is at 100%. You can see it's just massive. And the, the original image I'm using is probably just a fraction of the size of this but that's not going to matter once you shrink it back down it won't be distorted or anything so here's a 20 percent okay so after you have your cover all in place you're going to click on step two and then you can press play and then hit continue now depending on the speed of your computer this could take anywhere from 20 seconds up to two or three minutes so just be patient and don't touch anything okay now it's finished all you have to do now is hit stop and then um, as you can see right now we're at 23 percent of the actual size and we don't need it that big it's not like we're gonna put a poster on our wall or anything and actually I messed up always double check to make sure that your layer is on top it looks here that I've got the action scripts logo sitting on top of here which was an accident so um, before I would have ran that action I should have double checked this. Make sure that all your layers are at the very top. Sometimes you do it wrong by accident. So let me go ahead and just run it again. I won't make you wait. I'll fast forward through it just to show you the final thing. So pretty much make sure that this is correct and you don't have all that other stuff. Sorry I missed that. So I'm going to go ahead and play it, but I'll fast forward for you. Okay, there we go. Now that looks a lot better than before. Obviously, I, I forgot to take the URLs that were on the book cover. But anyways, now you can see it's at 23%. Um, we don't need it that big. So what we're going to do is go to Image, go to Image Size, and uh, make sure the Constraint Proportions is checked. And then I'm going to change the width to 600, and I'm going to hit OK. Now it's going to shrink it down. Now I'm going to pull it back up to 100% down here. And there we have it. There's the final action right there. As you can see, it looks almost like a realistic book. And it's really cool. So 
That's just one of 50 different actions that we have at PhotoshopActionScripts.com. You can uh, check it out in the link below in the description. As you can see, we have a whole lot of different really cool ones that you can use. There's different uh, spiral binders and things like that. So definitely go check those out, and I appreciate you watching the video, and I'll talk to you soon.